Kayla. You having a dance? Five ace card player. He doesn't last another minute. Cut him down. You stay out of this, Yank. We'll cut him down when he quits kicking. With us. Say, they ain't no yellow leg Yankee boys going with us. I hear they got a new bank and an old marshal over at Gila City. That beats cheating at cards, don't it? Let's go. Yeah, but the marshal's asleep. Never shoot a man in his sleep, yellow legs. You being a Yankee, that is. He ain't very sociable, is he? Been with us a week and ain't lost his temper once. I never did trust a man didn't lose his temper once in a while. Come on, let's go. We ain't taking the bank today. Uh, you giving the orders now? It looks that way, don't it? Get out of my style. Come on, he's asking for it, boy. Any man that turns his back on you is just a dad blame fool. I can like him. Never knowed a Yankee before. 
Shop. How long you figure that money's gonna keep? Till I tell you when? Yeah, I'm kinda anxious to get my hands on and get over to old Max. Take care of your horse first. I was thinking on having a couple of drinks with you fellas. This town has some pretty girls in it. Well, you get this far out in the brush, they're all pretty. <laughs> Billy, take the horses around the livery stable. Uh, are you talking to me? Well, your name's Billy, ain't it? I'll take the horses for you, mister. Like an honest man. You know, uh, some folks is just born lucky, I guess. Doggone it, yellow legs. Don't push yours. Pretty to me. I told you you ain't been out here long enough. Hey. Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Put that thing back up. I'll have to wait, gents. Wait, wait for what? Church is about to start. Parson don't like to look at it during his sermon. Well, this ain't Sunday, is it? That's a matter of opinion in Gila City. We haven't seen the calendar in two years. Some folks hold it's Monday, but these folks say hold it's Sunday. You gents looking for a drink? I'm looking right at it. What's in that bottle? Best way you've got. Even the mayor drinks it. That'll have to do. Uh, tell me something. Uh, how about the bank? How do they hold it? The bank's open. They're Monday folks. The bar's closed when the parson walks in. Told to dance all across the street. Imagine coming in here like she was respectable and bringing her woods cold with her. Imagine she wouldn't know his father. She saw him again. Poor boy. I imagine it's as close as she ever was to a parson and her holding a prayer book like she was respectable. If they're going to heaven, let you and me not go. Gents, bar's closed. Number 23. Rock of ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flowed be of him the double cure. Take my path and make me pure. Could my tears forever flow. Joe drinking. Don't do no good. Bar's closed. On account of the church meeting. Whiskey. 
I give Rand Zan. Really sure enough, I'll pass you pull a six shooter. <laughs> See how fast you can take the cork out of that bottle. I want to tell you something. He's fast. Them whole leg six shooters. That boy's a real coming boy. I want to tell you, I taught him everything. I know that's the What's the matter? Trick, I guess you're just going to have to stand here and look that bottle all the way through the sermon. see you sent us some new faces today. Male and female. Lord, I thank you. And folks, I welcome you. And I'll, I'll be dishing out the Gospels in a minute. But first, I've got to say a word to you gents with your hats on. This here's a preach house, gents, and you'll take your hats off to the Lord. Mister, I never met a man who wouldn't take off his hat to the Lord. Let's get it off. You get on with your preaching. He never seen nothing like it. Don't even take it off to sleep. We'll have a moment of silent prayer. I think you're studying enough to be a miser. Studying enough to buy us an army. Do you remember? You ain't such a dream, Billy boy. We could set up our own republic out in this country. It's wide open. Nobody could stop us. Take that bank money and commentaries would sell us a hundred, maybe two hundred slave Indians. We put uniforms on them. Yeah, fix us up an army. And I could drill them. Johnny come marching home again, hooray, hooray. Johnny come marching home again. Left face, right face, foot, straw. Johnny come marching. Paying you that way? Most always. Hmm. But that ball ought to come out of there. That's what I'm here for. You ever been in Springfield, Ohio? No. I swear I've seen you someplace before. Yeah. Uh, how long would this lay me up? Well, yeah, I was pretty close to the collarbone. Thing like that won't heal overnight, you know. Well, what a week? More like a month. Well, I got a little business to attend to. I don't think you can wait that long. Then stop wasting my time. That's where it was. A fellow just about your size, a yellow-legged sergeant. Somebody had tried to scalp him. A liquored up Johnny Reb with a bowie knife. He cut the sergeant up pretty badly before he was scared off by something. You know, if you take off your hat, you can make me out a liar. It's you, all right. Certainly, you went out of your way to look me up, didn't you? Take off the hat. I kind of got used to keeping it on. Why? You haven't got anything to hide in a few battle scars. A lot of the boys came out of it worse than that. What'd you do after the war ended? What would you do? Yeah, I'd go after that rip. Oh, I found it. Mm -hmm. 
Is uh, that Reb in town? Well, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting to get him along. See, I want him to know who I am. I want him to know he's going to get what he gave me. You sure you found the right man? Yeah, I'm sure. I left my teeth marks in his scalping hand. And I'm asking you, my friend, any man, woman, or child that reckons that he wants to go to hell, I say let that man, woman, or child stand up and be counted. Why, you white-livered coyote, you mean to stand there and say you intend to go to that place? I sure do, Parson. Tell you something else. Any man in this room that don't get his feet right now and join me is going there pronto. Nice, nice to meet you, ma'am. <laughs> My name's Billy, Billy Kaplinger. Get out. <laughs> Come on, Turkey. Sure is a pretty girl. Thank you for your fortitude. Uh, we'll uh, all close with a prayer now for those poor mis misguided men. All that money just sitting there, waiting on a yellow-legged Yankee. Never saw a man so patient about robbing a bank. Oh, church meeting's over. Let me know when that Yankee's patient runs out. This patient never does wear out. That uh, pretty redhead just went in and holds it today's Sunday. What do you uh, lovely creatures feel about that? I think it's Monday. Get your horse. Hmm? Get you. Billy! Hey, Billy! Yellow leg's ready! Them outlaws, Kit. They did some wild shooting. No. He 
Excuse me. she ever was to a parson and her holding a prayer book like she was respectable. Yellowleg sure has been trying to get himself drunk. Ain't quite making it, though. Some men are like that. Give it to him. Boy's leaning awful hard on him. Reckon the mayor will be able to talk that redhead into changing her mind? Ain't nothing gonna change her mind. She got Doc Jackson to take care of the body. Rented herself a wagon. She's going tonight. Going alone if she has to. Come to change your mind, kid. We've decided to have a nice funeral for the boy right here in Gila City. The whole town will come. As mayor, I'll see to it. Mead will be buried in Syringo, next to his father. Now, kid. Bury him here. You think I haven't heard all the whispering? You and your gossiping little wives with their pinched little faces and their noses in the air. Now, Miss Kidd. A dance hall woman with her freckle-faced woods cold. No telling who the father might be. They smell brimstone every time I walk by. They hated us both, me and the boy. Well, he's dead now. And you can tell your wives that there was no sinning and there'll be no funeral. I'm taking him to Syringo. You can't do that, Miss Kidd. It's smack in the middle of Apache country and there ain't nobody willing to go with you. Besides, there's not much of it left but the weeds. I've tried, Kit. I've asked everybody. I'm not asking anybody to go with me. Poor Kit. She's trying mighty hard to make folk believe about the boy's pa. He was a single man. Married. I didn't know that, Cal. Well, almost married. Me and Emma, she wouldn't let me go with Kit, not that way. Not to mention the Apaches. I ain't never seen a town so full of cowards. I ain't never seen a town so scared of Indians. <laughs> you can take me. Kit? I hate to think what all that sun will do to your face. Will you take this? No, thanks, Kit. Take it. I got no use for it. I can't sell it. Import it all the way from St. Louis. down from there. I said get down. Somebody's got to drive this for you. Not you. I'm asking to. 
I said, get down. Uh, need any help, ma'am? Get out of here, Billy. Ooh, didn't mean to butt in. Uh, your place. Get down. Bet she don't get 20 miles before she turns around. Fifty dollars. You better leave alone, because we ain't leaving. It wasn't me that shot that boy. Yeah. Get out! Terrific, it looks like you and me is going to go to Syringo. Billy, you're not picking up and giving me orders. I'm just backing them up. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of going to Syringo with that redhead. What's the matter? your horse pushing him like that. Will you let me drive that wagon for you? I don't want your help. Well, uh, I'd be mighty proud to ride in that wagon with you, ma'am. Leave me alone. Both of you. Well, now, uh, you know what ain't exactly safe out here for a woman. Well, it ain't exactly safe for you either. Any of you. Now get! Why don't you leave this one be and let's head back? Ah! 
rest of that bank is probably just now opening up. Yeah, probably is, probably is. We'll follow along, see if she gets through. Ah, doggie, that's a woman. Dress kind of wet. Guess you're gonna have to dry it out. Shouldn't ought to take long in this heat. Old girl, but fussy about getting kissed. <laughs> you stay away from me. What's gonna do with that rock? Are you using on me? Or a shotgun if I have to. Oh, ma'am, I always did go for high stakes. He scalped him. Yeah, just like they did. Come on, let's get back to that wagon. Coffee's ready. Well, you see, that woman don't want us around here, so why don't we accommodate her by leaving? before it gets cold. Leave her alone. You... You talking to me? Hey, Billy. I think Yellow Lake's kind of taking a shine to that woman. All the time we thought he was feeling sorry about that boy. Shut up. Touchy, too. Yeah. Like he is about that hat he keeps wearing. You know what I think he's got on it? What's that? Money. One way we can find out. Ask him. Take your hat off, yellow legs. He scared you, Billy. Yellow legs. Take your hat off. Or I'll shoot it off. You try it and I'll kill you. <laughs> you know, yellow legs. Something about you I just gotta like. Little 
mind your thinking, kid. Yellow Lake's done got his claim staked out. We ought to be back at that bank. That posse would never follow us out here. Back to Seringo. Well, we could set up our own little republic like that Edwards fella did down in Texas. You know, the Republic of Fredonia? All this land out here just awaits. Think how you looking at that uniform with all that gold braid. Oh, you the kind of trigger-happy young fella I can use. You know something? I'd make you my military aide. Then we'd start making up a lot of laws, but not one of them would apply to us. You don't know. <laughs> Never I'll did. tell you something. There's money in a thing like this. If it's run right, but we gotta start first with that bank back in Gila City. Turkey, don't you ever shut up. You, you, you nag like an old woman. It's sure quiet out here, ain't it? Look, I don't blame you for feeling the way you do, but right now it might be a good idea if, it, uh, if you could kind of make out like we was getting along. You always that stubborn or just hard to figure out? Lady, I'm just trying to help. Who are you trying to help? Riding shotgun on this wagon isn't gonna buy you a clean conscience. I'm beginning to wonder if you ever figured on going to Seringo at all. What are you trying to say? I mean, right here is as good as Seringo for the boy. You don't have to prove anything to me. Damn you! I got him fighting. Yeah. You don't know me well enough to hate me that much. Hate is a subject I know a little something about. You gotta be careful, it won't bite your back. I know somebody spent five years looking for a man he hated. Hating and wanting revenge was all that kept him alive. He spent all them years tracking that other man down. When he caught up with him was the worst day in his life. He'd get his revenge, all right. Then he'd lose the one thing he'd had to live for. Letting the Apaches know where we are. That ain't no fit way to kill a man. Not even the Yankee. You go on up ahead and find us a place to camp. There might be some Apaches out there. Then you go find out. You're used to that sun here. I'll get used to it. We'll be living in Seringo. You can find your own way back.
Jack, what you doing out here? Seems your guard. Who shoots him? Big can is around with me for a long while. It's a genuine general's cap. I stole it over in San Antonio. I never did show it to anybody before. Sure, really looks like some way on these, don't he, boy? Huh? Well, if you're waiting for me to salute you, you're gonna wait a long time. Yeah, I want to show you something else. People know it's there. We're gonna buy ourselves some slave Indians. We're gonna put uniforms on them. And we're gonna drill them good. We'll be able to burn a fire path through this country from Tucson to Tucumcari. You see, boy? Huh? What do you think of that, huh? Uh, it's fine, fine. Um, take over my guard for me, will you? I never, never traveled with a lady before. Kind of appeals to me. Get out of my way. Maybe I will and maybe I won't. I'm telling you to leave me alone. Oh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to trouble you any, Kit. I uh, just want to be sociable. And uh, never wear my guns when I make a social call. I always did like pretty things, and, and you're just about the prettiest I ever seen. Saddle up. Come on, get out of here. I'm going with you, Billy. You ain't going no place. Huh? You stand right here. Come on. Wouldn't stand a chance out in that patch of country alone. Well, that's his lookout, ain't it?
she's gone. They'll be going back to Gila City, both of them. I'll drive you back there in the wagon if you want. No, thanks. You still going to Seringo? You think you can stop me? Lady, I wouldn't even try. I'm sorry about losing the horse. Well, you don't have to talk to me, you know. It ain't worth the effort. Five years is a long time to turn your back on, especially for a woman like me. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Lady, I quit thinking when I turned my horse around. Oh, stop calling me lady. My name is Kit. I don't know you well enough to call you Kit. I don't think you're fooling me. You're not half as mad at me as you are at yourself. You gonna talk all the way to Swingo? Ha! Shotgun, come on. stage down on the border. Can 
that's more. You know, I can hardly remember what my husband looked like. We were only married a few weeks. We were on our way to Gila City when he was... He was killed in Syringa. When Mead was born, they wouldn't believe me. Gila City put a brand on both of us. With their jokes and their talk and their ugly little smiles. It's dark. We gotta have another horse. Them Apaches can't be far off. They got plenty of horses. Now you wait right here till I get back. Back up, we're moving out. This is far enough. I don't think I can stay awake another minute. You'll have to. Start digging. bury the wagon. From here on, our trail's got to look Indian. We're lucky those Apaches might still be out trying to find their stagecoach.
you're tired. I didn't ask for any help. I wasn't offering any. I just asked if you get tired. Yellow leg a name? No. It'll do. Where are you from? Ohio. Is it pretty back there? Used to be. What are you doing? Do and I'll kill you. Why didn't he kill us? Well, he's got a little score to settle up with me first. Start backing up. You can't forgive me for making you give up those five years, can you? I'll pick up his trail again. Hardly seem worth the trouble. broke it.
is he waiting for? Why doesn't he kill us? He will when he's ready. Why don't you kill us and get it over with? Come on! Stop it! Stop! Leave me alone! Shut up! Shut up! Why do you let him torture us like that? Apache friend's been awful quiet. Maybe he got bit by a snake. Do you think it's much further? What? Syringo. Syringo what? Do you think? I feel I know you better than any man I've ever known. Yet I hardly know you at all. What are you trying to do? You're hurting me. What did you expect to find? I was only trying to make you more comfortable. That's all I need to know about you.
Next time, I'll be waiting for him. You got to be on top of the block by sundown. So I'm going to wait for him. If I'm not back by morning, you're on your own. Wait. I just wanted to say.
What was your husband's name? Mead Tilden. My son was named after him. Couldn't find it. It's there. No, there ain't nobody named Tilden buried there. You're just the same as all the rest. Here it is. It must be one of the others. behind you. When that Billy gets a hold of an idea, he just won't let go of it. Especially if it's a red-headed woman. Well, no need to keep the lady out here in the sunshine. Let's step inside. Talk things over.
Sorry I can't offer you folks a drink. What did you do with the money? Money or what money are you talking about? The only one thing that bring him down here, that's keeping one jump ahead of a posse. I never saw folks so scared, Angel. Doggy, she sure is pretty. Turkey, go get that money. You crazy? Now go on, dude. I told you to do. go get the money. I just ain't got the heart to kill him. Huh? How would you like to have your gun back? You you want me to do it? I'll be much obliged. Just the minute he walks back through this door here. What about her? We'll decide that later. You and me. Well, uh, I'm going for a little walk. I'll be round. Ladies gotta admit I got guts. Get out of here. You can't. I waited five years. The waiting's over. Now keep out of it. What happened to Mead was an accident. I know that now. Even though I thought that I could never forgive you for it. But I could never love a man who was a cold blooded killer. Love? You don't even know me. My face under a hat. I wonder why I won't take this off. Want to talk about love? I've seen you with your hat off. What about my scars? You know how many men I've let kiss me and pinch me just because their filthy money gave them the right? Men with dirty shirts, smelly arms, money in their pockets. Can those scars be forgotten? Can I ask you to love a, a woman like that? Now, don't that make a pretty picture? Where's Billy? the way.
all this shooting and he ain't even touched him yet. Turkey! Two horses in this town. You know as good as me that only two people are gonna ride out of here alive. Hi, Cap. We're trailing a couple of bank robbers. Looks like you've got one of them. 
Where's the other? Inside. Looks like they figured you didn't have guts enough to come here. But you know how people are. As long as it's their money, the gates of hell wouldn't stop them. Sure. Parson, we're gonna need a few of the right kind of words from you. We're burying the boy alongside of his dad. I'll say the right kind of words. Get on this nasty deal! We buy some slave in 